Hello everybody, Tyler from 10 Thumbs Pro. You are new to fingerstyle guitar. I have the perfect first lesson for you. This land is your land. All the tabs on the screen, I'm gonna walk you through note for note. You can get a printable lesson by becoming a Patreon, link in the notes, as well as the description. You'll also see my email there if you want some one-on-one -on -one lessons and links to our other social network. This is geared towards you beginners, all right? Guitar brain attention span, Follow if you like this kind of content. New Guitar Monday, ukulele Wednesday and Saturday. Let's do it. Follow me on in. Let's break it down. All right, ready to make the jump to finger style. You chose a great first song. I'm gearing this towards you, the beginner in this style. First four measures. Nothing too fancy. So we start off on this B string. We play one, three, open E, and then we make an F chord. If you are a total beginner and this is just too hard for you, you can do a smaller F like this, which is three, two, one, one. And instead of alternating bass between the E and the D string, you would just play the D and the G string, okay? Feel free to do that. In fact, I'll put a tab up right now, boom, where the second measure and the third measure, you can see that's the alternative to make it even easier. Okay, let's go back to the other one. Boom. This is what we're gonna be playing, but feel free to use the easier way. So here we go. One, three, open E, F chord. And what you're doing is you're making this, you're barring this F and you're plucking the first fret of the E and the first fret of the E together. Your thumb then drops down and plays the third fret of the D string. That's on the second beat, no melody, and then you come back to one and one and back to three. This land is your land. Way too, I mean, this is way out of my vocal range, right? This land is your land. Oh well, that's why we're making the guitar sing for us, right? Then third measure, you get there, no melody on the first beat, so you just play thumb on the E string, then you drop down and you pluck again the third fret of the D with the, with the first fret of the E. Then your thumb is gonna play the low E and your index will play the first fret of the B string, which you're already fretting. And then you're gonna put your pinky on the third fret of the B and play the D and the B strings together. After that, make an E and then bass on the third fret of the E, open E string. Now sometimes this hand here can mute that E string. So really try to get your wrist down and make sure that E note rings out nice and clear. The bass will then drop down to the second fret of the D, and then you repeat it on the third beat. So these four measures, nice and slow. Next four measures, we stay on the C, we're gonna play third fret of the A, then you're gonna Drop down, second fret, that's your bass, your thumb is your bass, second fret of the D, and you're gonna use your index finger to play the open G. Then it's gonna be third fret again, back to the A string, first fret of the B string. And then now your middle finger will play the open E while you play the second fret of the D. So that first measure. Make a G. But note, you're gonna get your ring finger on the third fret of the B string because the melody's a D note. And it's just hitting that one on the one, two, three. If you're a little more advanced, you can add a little more rhythm to the offbeat, like one, two, and three, four, and. That's just something to keep in mind. But again, this is geared towards beginners. We're just trying to get the bare bones down. Stay on that G, but move your ring finger to the third fret. Because you're going to play your pinky on the third fret of the B, then jump back to the E, 
index finger, first fret of the C, and then pinky back to the third fret. So it's on the way to the C with the E as the melody. So, so these four measures, nice and slow, would be Okay, the next four measures are the exact same as the first four. The only difference is you start with a bass note on the third fret of the A string. And now we have the last four measures of the song. You're gonna start off on the C and you're just gonna walk the bass. If you're a little more advanced on the third beat, you could move your index finger, or, or I'm sorry, your ring finger. What finger is that? Yeah, your ring finger up to the third fret of the low E to get this bass sound. Okay, then we get to the G and we're doing this shape again with fretting that um, third fret of the D string. You're gonna pluck these two together, third fret again on the second beat, one, two, and the thumb is alternating between the E and the D strings. Third fret, third fret, third beat, no melody, just the third fret of the E, just the bass note, then back to the third fret of the B. Now just lift everything up. Three open B, D string open G string, three open B, and you're gonna grab the third fret on the fourth beat, make a C, and play the first fret of the E, of the B string, the C note, with the bass on the A string. So, so these four measures would be. And if you were to finish that song, you would just finish on that C, and that's it right there. If you keep the bass going, that's to take it back to the top, because this is the entire song. You just repeat it as many times as you want. So let's play these first, uh, let's play these last four actually like we're finishing the song. It would sound like this. All right. Okay, so let's take it from the top and play the whole thing. And you got your first finger style piece. Rock and roll. Nice work. One, two, three, four, one. Just like that, this land is your land. That's the full tune. So, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, one. And there you have it. One, two, three, four, one.
Cool, everyone. Thank you so much for watching to the very end of the movie here at Ten Thumbs Movie. I, I was thinking of Rumble in the Bronx by Jackie Chan. It was the first Jackie Chan movie I ever saw, and he jumped from building to building, and he broke his ankle when he did that, or maybe when he jumped on the hovercraft, and so they had to finish filming the movie, and the plaster cast on his ankle, they painted it like a sock. Why my brain was going there, I have no idea. This is not the end of the Jackie Chan movie from the mid-90s classic um, totally overdubbed, filmed completely in Chinese, dubbed in English with that scene where they're hitting the beer bottles and they're in the alley and my, I'm off track again. Thank you so much for watching to the very end of the lesson here at 10 thumbspro.com. We appreciate you. Subscribe if you like this kind of content. Ring the bell. Never miss a lesson. Rock and roll. Mahalo, friends. Take care.